Some have offered the suggestion that marriage uh, can be divided into a kind of a secular institution and a religious institution in order to help broker the, uh, the conflict between uh, those who have different ideas of, uh, regarding same-sex marriage. And I actually think that that's possible to do, but I think that it should have the opposite application than a lot of people who are suggesting it. They suggest that the government should be neutral and should uh, provide licenses for both kinds of relationships. And then if people have religious concerns, then they, they don't have to participate in that. They can do whatever they want and uh, not provide that kind of latitude. I actually think it's just the opposite. Think about what the role of the government is. The government uh, uses power to accomplish some particular end. Um, in this case, they are using their authority to privilege certain kinds of relationships and uh, to, to regulate those relationships um, for a purpose that the state seems, uh, deems important to the state. So what is that? What is the policy concern as far as the state? Why do they give licenses to heterosexual unions? I promise you, if heterosexual unions as a rule, as a group, and by nature did not produce the next generation, they wouldn't care if children weren't involved, in principle at least. They wouldn't care. Now, in the case of heterosexual uh, uh, same-sex unions, they're, they're, that isn't a factor. So the government should have a laissez-faire attitude. They can have a hands-off, which means then that the government should pass laws pertaining to specific policy concerns that relate to the functioning, proper functioning of the culture. And that would mean, in this case, that they would continue to license heteros long-term monogamous heterosexual unions for the reason I just gave you. And if it turns out that religious organizations, for whatever reason, want to solemnize a same-sex union, they should be free to do that if they like. In fact, they're doing that now. So why don't we just keep the status quo? I'll tell you why. Because this isn't about equality. The groups aren't equal with regards to policy concerns. That is, same-sex unions are different from heterosexual unions. And this is an attempt, really, to get the state to declare, officially and legally, that there is no difference between same-sex unions and heterosexual unions. And this is just false when it touches the policy issue. So this is a fair strategy. I don't mind us pursuing that strategy now. In fact, that's the, that's the policy we're facing right now. The government intervenes in with policy concerns in areas that matter to the government, that is stabilizing monogamous long-term relationships because as a rule, as a group, and by nature they produce the next generation. They're the foundation stone to society. And the rest of you, do whatever you want. You want to walk down the aisle in your church and have that particular union, whatever it happens to be, celebrated by your local community? Fine. I think that's a great idea. But that means we don't change anything we're already doing.